Laboratory safety. Any lab should aim to promote a safe and healthy lab environment, providing and coordinating programs and services that maximize safety and minimize health and environmental risks. Safety codes and standards must be established and followed by all individuals associated with the laboratory at your institution. These should be a clear assignment of responsibilities for individual safety. Who in the lab is responsible for safety? That must be determined and known by everyone. Who is responsible for safety education? You realize all these will not happen without training. And training must happen before accidents happen. So as soon as somebody walks in the lab, and it has been decided that they're going to be working at the lab, safety must be addressed. Now, who is going to be responsible for ensuring the safety rules that they are followed by all? Somebody needs to be able to say, hey, you put on your mask. There must be a hierarchy of responsibility. Who is responsible for who? Who makes the decision? Who has the final words? Is it the, the day-to-day -day lab manager? Is it the uh, safety director? Is it the, the, the study director? And one must also insist that there must be individual responsibility. Every single one of them is responsible of their own safety in the lab and the safety of others. There must be a awareness of hazard. Okay, I'm not asking people to be paranoid, but you need to be realized that if there's acid, there's a there's potential for problems. One needs to know that there are the safety equipment are on hand at the lab. There must be a first aid kit. There must be a spill kit like this one. There must be fire extinguishers in case of fire, and there must be personal protective equipment, PPEs in shorts. Like, like lab, lab coats, gloves, goggles, and respirators. All this is necessary to ensure personnel safety. There must also be a procedure for storing and handling chemicals, which should be established and followed. Chemicals that are flammable needs to be kept separate from the corrosives, like sulfuric acid, from the reactives, like peroxides, and from the highly toxic, like arsenic. We can't mix them up in the same thing. So we will address this later in hazardous waste management.